Hey everybody, I'm Kurt Alterac with MusicMedic.com. I'm here today with Ryan Walker, also from MusicMedic.com. Today we're going to take a Mark VI saxophone, what you already know is a great instrument, and we're going to make it even greater. We're going to show you how to turn this into this. done modifying the horn or when we've got uh, some of the very some of the things that we don't like out of it and we're bringing it up to snuff it's time to sort of put the springs back on and get it set up and springs setting up springs is is a whole nother video right um, how to set up springs how to tension them but what you need in place is you need good springs and so what we're using and, and what we used here is the gold plate gold plated blued steel springs and the gold-plated blued steel springs, they're great because they're gold, and as you can see, they look beautiful. They look, yeah, they look absolutely fantastic. But beyond that, the gold gives the blued steel um, a, a, a non-rust coating. Right. And I am not going to take, and we're not going to take, blued steel springs out of a Mark VI and put stainless steel springs in. Right. It's just not something we're comfortable doing, but putting in some nice gold-plated blued steel springs is is A-OK, -okay. yep, and gives the horn a great feel. Yeah. So, I think we need to talk about finishing right Yeah, we've yeah. made it feel great, we might as well make it look great too. Um, obviously our main goal is to make the horn function and play, kind of the cosmetic side is secondary. Um, but we do such good work in that, you can see a lot of times the horns that come in are in very rough shape. This is un -Uber and this is kind of one, you can see the lacquer's missing. Uh, we've had other ones that have been in even worse shape. But what we do is we take that and, and in addition to all this work of key work and body work and um, you know, modifications, we go that extra step and, and make it look even better. Um, through, you know, whether it's re-engraving, uh, whether it's through, you know, refinishing, stripping old lacquer, making it, you know, evening out the, evening out the bare brass finish. Um, or even going so far as to have it plated. Um, that's kind of our, our signature look is this, you know, this uh, sandblasted silver with the Beautiful. smooth highlights and the gold wash bell. I mean, it's definitely an eye-catching horn and it's definitely an ear-catching horn as well. Great, great. Yeah, yeah, well said. Um, and on this finishing, Ryan, I think um, it's worth mentioning that the sandblasting we're not removing material from the right. Horn. So, yes, that's, so that's a common misconception when people think about sandblasting. When I'm actually removing metal, it, it doesn't remove any kind of metal. It gives it a texture, and we're not buffing it ahead. Of right. Time. So right. it's going right from an ugly looking horn to a sandblasted horn, and then it gets plated. Exactly. So actually, metal gets added to the horn yes. during the plating process. Yes, yeah, and that's why we're doing a lot of our plating. <laughs> The last thing I think we need to talk about, Ryan, is pads. Absolutely. And Pad we, choices. Yeah, we definitely have a great selection here at Music Medic with all the different types of pads and rezzo combinations. Um, we obviously really love using the, the roux pads, the white roux pads, the black roux pads, the chocolate roux pads. Um, what we put in this Mark VI is, is the roux pad extremes. Um, we feel that those will last a lot longer, that they take a seat well, they have a nice firm feel. I feel like they play better. I feel like they respond more quickly than, than the regular root pads or better than any pad. And as soon as they hit the tone hole, you get an airtight seal. And I just feel like that takes away some of that distance between the player and the horn that we keep trying to limit to, to just make an effortless connection between the player and the horn. Yeah, you can do all this great work. You can do great body work. You can do great key fitting. Modifications can be great. Your refinishing can be great, but if you don't put a good pad in there, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not worth it. And when you're choosing a resonator, the larger the resonator, the brighter the sound, and, and the smaller the resonator, the darker the sound. Mm -hmm. So depending on what you're looking for, uh, in that way, you want to choose you want to choose a resonator that is the right resonator uh, for you. Absolutely, absolutely. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed our video today. If you have any questions about fixing a Mark VI, making a Mark VI great, or anything about saxophone, please don't hesitate to contact us.